BrainWise presents Grade 6, Science Quiz B, Part 2 Welcome, science adventurers! Get ready for a quiz that will take you on a journey through the wonders of science. Let the fun begin! Number 1. Which of the following is a common use of non-metals? Again, which of the following is a common use of non-metals? The choices are A. Making electrical wires B. Building bridges C. Making plastics D. Constructing machines The correct answer is C. Making plastics Number 2 what does the pH scale measure? Again, what does the pH scale measure? The choices are A. Temperature B. Acidity and basicity C. Speed D. Volume The correct answer is B. Acidity and basicity Number 3. What force pulls objects towards the Earth? Again, what force pulls objects towards the Earth? The choices are A. Friction B. Gravity C. Magnetism D. Tension The correct answer is B. Gravity Number 4. What is the change in velocity over time called? Again, what is the change in velocity over time called? The choices are A. Acceleration B. Distance C. Speed D. Time The correct answer is A. Acceleration Number 5. Which type of motion is in a straight line? Again, which type of motion is in a straight line? The choices are A. Circular B. Periodic C. Oscillatory D. Linear The correct answer is D. Linear Number 6. Which property of metals allows them to be drawn into wires? Again, which property of metals allows them to be drawn into wires? The choices are A. Malleability B. Conductivity C. Luster D. Ductility The correct answer is D. Doctility. You're on fire! You've tackled some tough questions already! Now, let's keep the momentum going! Get ready for the next set of brain teasers! Number 7. Which of these is a non-metal that is essential for life? Again, which of these is a non-metal that is essential for life? The choices are A. Iron B. Copper C. Oxygen D. Aluminum The correct answer is C. Oxygen Number 8. Which of these materials is a good conductor of electricity? Again, which of these materials is a good conductor of electricity? The choices are A. Wood B. Plastic C. Rubber D. Copper The correct answer is D. Copper Number 9 
What type of motion is the movement of a car around a circular track? Again, what type of motion is the movement of a car around a circular track? The choices are A. Linear B. Circular C. Oscillatory D. Periodic The correct answer is B. Circular Number 10 What is the difference between mass and weight? Again what is the difference between mass and weight? The choices are A. Mass is the amount of matter, while weight is the force of gravity on an object. B. Mass is measured in newtons, while weight is measured in kilograms. C. Mass changes with location, while weight remains constant. D. Mass and weight are the same thing. The correct answer is A. Mass is the amount of matter, while weight is the force of gravity on an object. Number 11. How does the density of an object affect its ability to float? Again, how does the density of an object affect its ability to float? The choices are A. Denser objects float B. Less dense objects float C. Density has no effect on floating D. Only objects with a density of 1 gram per cubic centimeter float. The correct answer is B. Less dense objects float. Number 12. Why does ice float on water? Again, why does ice float on water? The choices are A. Ice is denser than water. B. Ice is less dense than water. C. Ice and water have the same density. D. Ice is colder than water. The correct answer is B. Ice is less dense than water. Number 13. Why do objects appear to weigh less in water? Again, why do objects appear to weigh less in water? The choices are A. Gravity is weaker in water B. Water exerts an upward force called buoyancy C. Objects lose mass in water D. Water has no effect on weight The correct answer is B. Water exerts an upward force called buoyancy. Number 14. How does the shape of an airplane wing help it to fly? Again, how does the shape of an airplane wing help it to fly? The choices are A. It creates a vacuum above the wing. B. It increases air pressure above the wing. C. It creates a difference in air pressure above and below the wing. D. It reduces friction with the air. The correct answer is C. It creates a difference in air pressure above and below the wing. Almost at the finish line! Just a few more questions to go! Stay focused and use all your science knowledge! You're so close! Number 15. Why does a spinning top eventually fall over? Again, why does a spinning top eventually fall over? The choices are A. Inertia B. Gravity Seep friction D. All of the above The correct answer is D. All of the above Number 16 What is the difference between a physical change and a chemical change? Again what is the difference between a physical change and a chemical change? The choices are A. A physical change alters the composition of a substance, while a chemical change does not. 
B. A physical change is irreversible, while a chemical change is reversible. C. A physical change involves a change in state or form, while a chemical change involves the formation of new substances. D. A physical change releases energy, while a chemical change absorbs energy. The correct answer is C. A physical change involves a change in state or form, while a chemical change involves the formation of new substances. Number 17. Why does a balloon filled with helium gas rise? Again, why does a balloon filled with helium gas rise? The choices are A. Helium is denser than air B. Helium is less dense than air C. Helium has the same density as air D. Helium is lighter than the material of the balloon. The correct answer is B. Helium is less dense than air. Number 18. How does the human body use acids and bases to maintain homeostasis? Again, how does the human body use acids and bases to maintain homeostasis? The choices are A. The stomach uses hydrochloric acid for digestion. B. The blood uses buffers to maintain a stable pH. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. The correct answer is C. Both A and B. Number 19. How does the Earth's magnetic field protect us from harmful solar radiation? Again. How does the Earth's magnetic field protect us from harmful solar radiation? The choices are A. It absorbs the radiation B. It reflects the radiation C. It deflects the radiation D. It has no effect on the radiation The correct answer is C. It deflects the radiation. Number 20. What is the relationship between work, force, and distance? Again, what is the relationship between work, force, and distance? The choices are A. Work equals force divided by distance. B. Work equals distance divided by force. C. Work equals force multiplied by distance. D. Work equals force plus distance. The correct answer is C. Work equals force multiplied by distance. Congratulations, science wizards! You've completed the quiz! You're officially a science expert! Keep exploring and learning! Like this quiz, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more exciting science challenges! Don't miss our next science quiz! See you soon! Brilliant work! Tell us your score and see how others did. Check out other videos from BrainWise.